Welcome to part two of a bulletproof plan for a stronger you. Now, this workout is all about strengthening your upper body. So how this workout works is that we will perform each exercise in superset format, meaning that you'll perform two or three exercises without any rest, and then you repeat it and then move on to the next superset. Now for your rep range, if your goal is to develop muscle mass, keep your reps on the lower side between eight to 10 reps. And if your goal is to develop muscle strength, definition and toning, keep it on the higher side between 10, 15 and 20 reps. Now let's make sure that your total gym is set up appropriately. You will have a high incline with your pull-up bars attached. Now let's get right into the exercises. Now our first superset includes pull-ups followed by an incline push-up. So for our pull-ups, bring your glide board up the rails and come into a prone position, crossing your legs at the ankles. Slowly lower all the way down and then squeezing at the very top. So you want to make sure that you perform these slow and controlled so that you can really squeeze and activate the upper, middle, and lower back muscles. Once you've performed your reps, you're going to hold it at the very top and do tiny little pulses, really squeezing for a burnout set. Once you're done with your reps, you'll lower it all the way back down and then come into an incline plank position for your push-ups. Now, depending on where you put your hands will determine how hard or easy it is. So the higher your hands are, the easier. The farther down you walk those hands towards the ground, the harder it's going to be. Now, you can always flip this around and place your hands onto the floor for decline push-ups. Now, you can repeat that as many rounds as you'd like, and then you move on to your second superset. For this round of exercises, remove your pull-up bars, lower your incline, and connect your cables. You'll come into a kneeling or a seated position for a high row. So I'm gonna tuck my toes, starting out on my heels, and row all the way back, and squeeze through that upper back, keeping your thumbs going towards your armpits. Now to intensify this, you'll come into that high kneeling position, just make sure that you're stabilizing through your core. And on your last rep, you'll hold it up, extend one arm, and then try not to move your glide board. And try not to do too much rotation in your torso for that static equilibrium burnout set. Once you're done with that, immediately go into your bicep curls. So again, you can stay in this high position, which would be advanced. You can come right back down to those heels. You want to keep your chest lifted, core in tight. Once you've done your reps here, again, you'll hold it in, extend out one arm, and then switch. Try to keep that nice and smooth, steady pace, keeping the glide board as still as possible to really burn out those biceps. Now you'll finish that and repeat for the desired amount of sets. Superset number three contains three different exercises. So you'll keep the cables connected, turn away from your tower, and come down to a seated position at the top of your glide board. Cables will be underneath of your arms and legs extended. You'll go into a chest press. Now once you go through this exercise, you'll hold it all the way out, and then again, go into your static equilibrium for your burnout set. Then you can always pick up your tempo, pick up your speed, you really want to get into the chest area by either changing the angle or keeping it nice and straight to the front, depending on wherever you want to angle and target. Then you'll come down to a supine position with your arms extended for your tricep extension. So your arms will be parallel and you'll extend the arms all the way out. Contract the muscle behind the arm. And if you want a little bit more core activation, lift up those legs. And again, we'll have one more burnout set right from here. Alternating, keeping that glide board as still as possible. Beautiful. And then the third exercise, our arm circles, working through our shoulders. So depending on your range of motion and how you feel, just make sure that you're not going higher than your head. And you wanna keep those arms out so that they're parallel towards your shoulders, coming all the way down towards your hips. And of course, you wanna make sure that you're going in both directions. And once you've gone through all three of those exercises, we'll repeat that for the magical sets that you would like to do. 
And that completes the upper body workout for our bulletproof plan for a stronger you. Stay tuned for part three as we'll work into your core. Thank <laughs> you.